Hi, my name is Rebecca with a G and John. And real quick, I wanted to show you how to read one of these crochet charts. I know this comes up a lot, and a lot of people are very scared of them, um, but it's not quite as bad as it seems. So basically, you're going to need some kind of uh, guide to what these symbols mean. And I know them by heart, but basically, you'll just want to know, you know, what are these little ovals? What are these little lines? You know, and, and it's pretty easy once you have the hang of it. You can always keep it open and reference it when you're working. Let's go ahead and get started. This little symbol here, this little oval, is a chain. And you want to look at this and try to figure out, okay, where am I starting? Well, obviously, we're going to start here. You can't start at this outside edge. Um, but it should be pretty obvious once you start looking at these where the starting chain is. It's usually, if it's back and forth in rows, it'll be at the bottom. If it's in rounds, kind of like this one, you'll see there's like the starting chain here, or there's just gonna be a single um, little chain if it's um, like a semicircle, like a shawl or something like that. So the next thing is, okay, how do we know how many chains to make? We have to actually count them, which can kind of be a pain, but some diagrams will like write the number on the side. So here we just count how many chains we have, and this is going to be our starting chain. And then we'll note, okay, let's pretend we're, we're making this. We're going to start here. We're going to make our chains, and then what do we do? What next? Well, again, think about how you would actually be making this. Um, these stand for double crochets, all these little symbols here. The little line with that line halfway through, that's a double crochet. So it looks like what we've got is you know, three more chains that counts as a double crochet, and then we just kind of go around in an oval. So that seems pretty straightforward. You'll note this little black solid dot here. That's a slip stitch symbol. So when you finish a round in crochet anytime, you know, you always end the round with a slip stitch into this one. Um, so it looks like they want us to go this direction. Okay. So we would make our starting chain, chain three, and then we would start DCing around. Now, how many DC do we put there? Let's look. In this uh, chain, we do the chain three and then one, two, three, four, five. So we'll do chain three, five DC in the next chain. And then we'll have to count these guys again. But it looks like you're going to do pretty much one in each one of these chains until we get to the very end. And then to turn, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six DC in this last chain, and then chain back around. Slip stitch to join, chain three, and then we have to look again. Here it looks like we are going to DC in the same stitch. Do you see how they're kind of joined in here? Mm -hmm. That's what that's yeah. for. <clears throat> My son here is seven. He's watching me make this video, and if he can get it, I think you can get it. <laughs> the next one here is showing you, again, you're having two double crochets in the same stitch. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. So you're going to repeat that all the way around these turning stitches. And then you go down along the edge, excuse me, all double crochet until you get to the other turning end. And then you double crochet two in the same stitch over these six turning stitches. And then you double crochet back around, slip stitch to join. And you'll do the same for this next round. So it's actually not too bad. It's not as hard as it sounds. Um, this was a very basic tutorial on this little oval shape. Um, these are really helpful for making like shoe soles or the bottom of a basket or the bottom of a bag. So I thought this would be a good one to get started with. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and get it uploaded. And then if you guys like it, let me know. I can always make more of them. Hope this helps and happy crocheting.